Noor says, when getting up from the first tashahud, we have to do raf al yadain, raising of the hands. So when should we say Allahu Akbar? Should we say it while getting up? But if we do this, then we would say it before rising our hands. Can they explain? First of all, you said that we have to do raf al yadain. And this is not true. Raising the hands is a sunnah. It is not mandatory. So if a person stands, bows, rises from rukur, and does not raise his hands, his prayer is totally valid and correct. Number two, raising the hands in prayer is done in four locations. Two of them happens only once in the prayer. And the other two happens in every rakah. So the first place where it happens only once in takbiratul ihram, in the beginning of the salat, you say Allahu Akbar, which is a pillar to say Allahu Akbar. But raising the hands is not. It's still a sunnah. So if I am in the masjid and I say istaw'u and I look right and left and the congregation are all ready and I say Allahu Akbar without raising my hands. My prayer is totally valid. No problem. So this is number one. Happens only once in the prayer. Number two is when I'm in the first tashahud. Whether it is Dhuhr, Asr, Maghrib or Isha. All of these four salats have two tashahud. The first one is after the second rak'ah. When I'm about to go to the third rak'ah, I always say Allahu Akbar and I raise my hands. And this happens only once in the Salat. It doesn't happen in Fajr at all. The third time where I raise my hands happen in, happens in every rak'ah. And that is when I go for ruku' and I say Allahu Akbar and I do my ruku'. And the fourth time also happens in every rak'ah. And this is when I raise my head from ruku' I say Sami Allahu liman hamida. That's it. Now, when I'm at tashahud, there are two schools of thought. Some say, when I finish my tashahud and I want to go to the third rak'ah, while sitting, I say, Allahu Akbar, and I stand up. And this is followed by Sheikh al-Albani and his students. The vast majority say, no. You stand up, and while you're standing up, you say Allahu Akbar. And once you stand up, you raise your hands. Sheikh, this means that we raise our hands after we say Allahu Akbar. That says yes. Three types or three ways that the Prophet was authentic upon, uh, 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 reported about him. Between raising the hands and saying Allahu Akbar. So in the beginning. You can do this, Allahu Akbar, it's simultaneous. And you can do this, Allahu Akbar, you're raising the hands before saying Allahu Akbar. Or you can do this, Allahu Akbar, so you say takbir before, so you can have three ways, either simultaneous or before or after. And all was reported by the Prophet alayhi salatu wasalam. So you, to answer your question, I'm inclined to say that you say Allahu Akbar between the sitting position and standing up. So you have to say it in between, not while you're sitting and not while you're standing up. As for the raising the hands, you do it when you fully stand up and Allah Azza wa Jal knows best.